Welcome back to 2230. Today, we're diving into a recent incident that unfolded in a Tampanese car park, igniting a heated debate between road users and garnering significant attention on social media. On Wednesday, April 10, the SG Road Vigilante, SGRV Facebook page shared footage capturing an intense altercation between a cyclist and a driver. Let's break down the details of what happened and explore the diverse reactions from netizens. The incident occurred at approximately 5.49 p.m. on Tuesday, April 9, at a car park located on Tampanese Avenue 4. The video footage, captured by a dashcam, depicts a situation where a driver finds their path obstructed by a cyclist approaching from the opposite direction. As the driver attempts to navigate around the blocked lane, the cyclist refuses to yield, demanding the driver to reverse and make way. Both parties come to a standstill, with neither willing to concede ground. In the midst of the impasse, the cyclist makes hand gestures at the driver, signaling for them to reverse and clear the way. Despite attempts by nearby construction workers to facilitate a resolution, the cyclist remains adamant, even resorting to taking a picture of the vehicle's license plate. Witnesses intervene, advising the cyclist to pass through an available gap on the left side of the vehicle. However, the cyclist disregards this advice, prolonging the confrontation. To mitigate the escalating tension, the construction workers take action by opening up a previously closed lane, allowing other motorcyclists and vehicles to pass through. Despite these efforts, the cyclist persists in his stance, prolonging the deadlock. Ultimately, the cyclist relents and allows the driver to proceed, albeit with a lingering stare. The video concludes, leaving viewers to ponder the aftermath of the encounter. Following the release of the footage, netizens flooded the comments section with diverse opinions and perspectives. While some criticized the cyclist for instigating the altercation and causing unnecessary disruption, others speculated that the driver might have provoked the cyclist through the use of their horn. Additionally, there were those who supported the driver's decision to stand their ground, citing the cyclist's perceived errant behavior as justification for their actions. In conclusion, the clash between the cyclist and the driver in the Tampanese car park serves as a poignant reminder of the complexities and tensions that can arise on our roads. While the specifics of the situation may remain open to interpretation, it underscores the importance of patience, empathy, and effective communication in resolving conflicts on the streets. What are your thoughts on this incident? Do you believe one party was more at fault than the other, or was it simply a misunderstanding blown out of proportion? Share your views in the comments below, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to 2230 for more engaging content like this.